Hey everybody, Charles for HumbleMechanic.com and I'm back with another episode of the Humble Mechanic Podcast. Today's Tuesday, November 25th, 2014 and this is episode 17 and I got a really cool brand new show for you guys today. Um, I thought it would be really fun to take a failed Volkswagen part that I replaced, bring it home, you know, maybe disassemble it at the house and, and show you guys sort of what happens and why it fails and you know, some of my theories on, on what's going on with these individual parts. Um, today we're going to start the series off with a water pump from a, I think it was a 2012 GTI. Um, the engine is CCTA, which is a 2.0 liter turbo, a lot of times called the TSI engine. Um, this is the water pump that's bolted to the outside of the block. It's driven by the balance shaft. So uh, I'm going to open up the toolbox and we're going to talk about how and why these water pumps failed. Oh, this one was replaced because it was leaking coolant. All right, like I mentioned in the intro, we're looking at the water pump out of a CCTA TSI engine. This is the 2.0 liter turbo um, engine in the Golf, GTI, Jetta, Passat, CC, um, Tiguan. Uh, so this engine's in a lot of cars. A lot of cars have this particular water pump. Um, this is the, right here is the drive gear. This, stay still, there we go. This is driven by a small belt, driven by the balance shaft. Um, the way it sits in the vehicle, if you're looking at the front of the vehicle, this is actually how you would see it. Now you can't really just look at it like that while it's installed. Um, it's tucked up pretty far underneath the intake manifold and behind the uh, air intake pipe. So how do these fail? Well, there's a few different ways. One, and the most common one, is that they leak. And you'll notice here at the top there's two pin holes, alignment holes here, and an alignment hole here. Um, so installation is key. I have seen a few come back where they weren't installed properly, either they weren't torqued properly or um, or when they were installed and bolted on, maybe they weren't pushed all the way on those alignment pins. So if you're installing one of these, getting those pins set is very, very, very important. If we rotate the pump around, and this one's actually missing the gasket. It wasn't missing the gasket when I replaced it. Um, let's see if I can get a good shot here. You can see this track right here. That's where the gasket goes um, for where it bolts to the block. And actually what usually happens is they get a little distressed right here. Right on that spot right there, right next to the alignment pin and, um, and this plastic will crack. Um, I've also seen oil leak on them and swell the gasket and that'll cause them to leak. Uh, but leaks are definitely the most common reason for a failure on this particular part. And this area right here and this area right here are generally the two spots where you'll see a uh, plastic deteriorate or a seal expand due to oil. This one didn't have any oil on it. We can see the top's dirty, but it's not saturated in oil. So this was purely just a, a leak from the gasket right here. You can actually see, I don't know if you guys can see that, a tiny bit of distortion right here um, in the plastic. The other way I've seen these fail is actually a failure in the thermostat, which is right down in this little hole. You can't really see it. Um, we typically get something like a malfunction in cooling system, fault, uh, the check engine light will come on, it'll read something like malfunction in cooling system. Traditionally that's a failure in the thermostat, and whether it's on this CCTA or the older BPY engines, even the uh, a lot of the older generations would get similar faults, the 2 liter non-turbos, the 1.8 turbos, uh, like out of my generation car, the B6, or uh, excuse me, B5 platform, A4 platform, all those kind of got a similar fault and um, basically it wasn't seeing the engine heating up fast enough and uh, generally because the thermostat was hanging closed. This piece also has one of two ECTs built into it uh, I mentioned in a video I did with Paul from Deutsch Auto that um, to be careful with that connector because those wires do break fairly easily. So uh, you need to be careful with that. Now I've also read stories about multiple water pump failures on, on this engine. Here's a good shot of, of the, uh, the gear to, 
turn the pump. Um, multiple failures of these water pumps, and I think it's for a few reasons. One, I think poor installation is, uh, is probably the most prevalent one. A lot of guys are just jamming these water pumps on and going, and uh, you really do need to make sure that you're torquing these properly and that, uh, that you're torquing them in the proper sequence, not just zipping them in with your, uh, with your air ratchet and uh, pumping coolant in it and letting it ride. Again, leaks, oil leaking down onto the pump up here on the top um, can definitely cause those seals to swell and, uh, and, and cause issues, cause leaks. Um, I have heard of a few rare cases, and I have not seen this. This is just hearsay, of course, um, where engine vibration was actually causing these pumps to leak. And uh, that can result as, uh, or prove itself as a result of like a failing balance shaft. Like I said, this is driven by the balance shaft. Um, so instead of uh, older, you know, two liter turbos that the water pump was driven by the timing belt, this is actually driven more towards the back of the engine and that's why they can bolt it onto the front. So, um, you know, it's not the most problematic part out there, but we do see, uh, see a fair amount of failures. They seem to come in waves like a lot of, a lot of pattern things do. Uh, you won't see any for a few weeks and then you'll see four or five in the same week. So. Um, yeah, so there's, that's it. That is pretty much the only way I've seen these fail. I've never seen one fail in a way that would cause the vehicle to overheat as long as it was keeping coolant in the engine, of course. Um, so check engine light for thermostat fault, malfunction and cooling system, and coolant leaks are really the two main, main sources of failure. So there you guys go. There you have it. That is the two liter TSI water pump. Um, if you have any questions, post them in the comment section below, either on YouTube or on the blog. Um, if there's a part that you have in mind that you'd like me to talk about, sort of like I did this uh, two liter water pump, post it in the comments below, or you can always shoot me an email to charles at humblemechanic.com. Put something in the subject like um, failed part or question about part. That way I know, uh, you know, I can put you guys in a special folder and uh, and we can talk, I can, I can move it to a, a Tuesday show. I think I'm gonna make this a regular Tuesday thing. I got a whole box full of parts sitting over on the other side of the garage, just waiting to talk to you guys about. Um, if you like the show, throw it a thumbs up. If you don't like this water pump, that's cool, but don't thumbs down the video because you hate this water pump. <laughs> um, it's not my fault. I don't build them. I just try and fix them, and then I try and talk to you guys about how they failed and, and why. So again, any questions or comments, feel free to post them. You can also follow me on the major social media sites. YouTube, obviously. You may be watching this on YouTube. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Those are the where, places that I hang out most of the time. Um, you can reach me on any of those. But the best way, as always, to just shoot me an email, especially if there's a, a part that you guys want me to talk about. Anyway, this has been Charles for HumbleMechanic.com. This is episode 17 of the Humble Mechanic podcast. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube or on the blog, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.